Yeah, this is Wolfie Drops Donuts, and today we have a CTF on C Town, which was a 4v4 uh, GB with. It was playing, it was me, Gommel Brov, yes, he's, that's his real PS then, um, Wicked Sopronic, and Rambo EX. Rambo's kind of like a pickup for the moment, because like, we're not too sure if he's in or not. But uh, one thing, uh, the thing I use is a PP90 with focus and extended mags, and um, yeah, but also I'm better known as WolfenX12 for my previous MPGV uh, video on this. But uh, yeah, this is a ga game against a, I would say, reasonably good team because we was kind of like we were sweating it. Uh, it was gonna originally be a uh, like a live com listening, but. Um, for some reason, my MP3 Skype recorder said it was 999 gigs or some shit like that. And uh, yeah, I get a pretty early pull off this by going over, like duking and going a very weird way. But uh, one thing I really want to talk about in this uh, video is pretty much getting into the competitive scene. Like to me, to me, the first thing that you would basically need to know, like most people go for into the competitive scene thinking. Oh god, yeah, okay, so uh, 10 or 9 or 8, like the high sensitivity is really best, you can turn on people and do much, but really, I guess the best sensitivity to play on is 4, 3, 3 or 4, or anything past 5, anything past 5 is a bit too much in my opinion, but uh, yeah, I don't know the final score, I believe it worked. it's not the best of gameplay, but it was one of those like competitive games where we would where it's like proper sweaty, where I everyone's trying, everyone's trying to do stuff. Well, I get a pretty good start here, and um, sorry about the color correction, but um, yeah, as I was saying, uh, basically the way I got into competitive gaming is pretty much that uh, when I, I I was presumed a uh, pub star or public player, which is just normal games online. I used to play a lot of team tact with a four four man party. We used to go on win streaks, we used to wreck the shop, wreck shit, everything what used to be done, DTD, down to done, and we used to get on big ass win streaks, which I thought was pretty good in my opinion. Like, soon as soon as basically, okay, then we run into a four man party, which was a very good old team that were on the GV ladder. They would go in, um, I believe, like 71 and 5, beating all the good teams and not do it. Uh, a lot of teams like to challenge like the uh, smaller teams so they can get a better record. But um, yeah, what, one thing, if you really want to start a competitive game, and the first thing I'll ever do is sign up to game battles, in my opinion. Because game battles is like, I guess, a foundation of what like, most people start. Like, I don't know who someone who's went straight to EU Esports, and started through EU Esports and went through game battles, or even Deserto. But um, yeah, one and the uh, one thing I like to say is here, I was a pretty smart play. I didn't go back into there because I knew if I went in there, I had a good chance to get a knife. And um, yeah, I'm really sweating because I literally just went for a run, believe it or not. And um, yeah, what one thing I would sign up to game battles, and there's one thing that I would definitely not worry about is your record on game battles. I'll just play a bunch of GBs, get a solid team of four, and hope for the best. Not literally hope, go, oh, please go win. But just try every game. Try One thing you need to learn as well, spawn points is very important. You can learn that on any, uh, I guess, any type of game mode. Confirm TBM, but, um, yeah, that's the one thing. And also, I'd like to give a... I, I came across something very unusually good a couple of days ago, which is the, one of my mates' channels, actually. He, he kind of redefined the whole commentary and GoPro into one. He's kind of like a GoPro commentator, which is pretty cool in my opinion, because it's something out of the unusual and it's something that you wouldn't expect from anyone or anything, really. And his name is AC One. Uh, no, his channel is youtube.com forward slash GoProCom, which he kind of basically just rides through his favorite dirt tracks on a bike and then uh, commentates over him, saying which is the best and why you do this. But yeah, over here I pulled out AR because what we was doing there is when he had the flag and we had the flag, he's called stalemating. And here's a nice little shot in my opinion, I don't know why I thought it just looked cool. But 
which is basically stalemating, which means one flag has the other one, so we protect our guys so we don't want to lose a flag. Because we're two, two or three flags up at the moment, I can't tell from my side of Vader. But I'm going to say two. So we win pretty well, and uh, one part, I like to play uh, pretty much OBJ, and uh, Ninja spamming me, asking what is what. But um, yeah, also, I would say get into a scrim. Like the scrimmages, just get a couple of eight man, eight man or even six men people into a private lobby and just look up the rules of like you can use from Deserto, from EU Esports, from any other competitive gaming website. You can just like look up the rules and make sure you've got everything and just practice with like an eight man team. Just invite and then tell them the rules, set it up, and you you kind of one thing with. Uh, Pubs is not pubs, uh, competitive. After you played it for a, a long time, pretty much uh, public games like normal online games like TDM, Mercenary Deathmatch, all that playlist. Yeah, we get very uh, frustrating. I thought, as kind of my team's been a bit inactive, and we're going to be even more inactive thanks to pretty much um, some going on holiday uh, for about two weeks in France. Uh, shout out to Mr. Jonesy. Um, but yeah, so we can't, I thought, okay, I'm going to get you guys a pu pub game play to post on Phaser. Because Brett, you see, I sorted out all my HD, HD PVR problems. Like this week's been a whole fuck up for every part of my problems. Like everything's going wrong for me. Like, like my PVR is like recording in low quality. My in Vegas didn't work, I had to uninstall and reinstall, so it's been a bit of a hectic week, but uh, man, my nose went weird. But um yeah, so but we got I got this gameplay for you because I tried for I would say about four hours in pubs and I could not get a decent game in my opinion. Like the best game I've already got was twenty to five, but I didn't like it because in public games I like to get uh top kill streak that I have, like for, if I'm on a specialist I want to get a Moab. It, it's really weird the way I do it because obviously from a competitive game inside of all pubs are pretty much just shit, like shit. So uh, I had to, uh, I, I'd like to up my ante as they would say. And here we're stalemating again because we don't want to lose the flag, we're one down. If we get, if they get this flag we're pretty much two down, so it's a pretty bad idea and um, yeah but that is pretty much what I would do when it comes to trying to get into competitive game battles. And here's a little funny thing. Like, I was like, oh god, who can I get it? Okay. Gets a and he doesn't realise he has the flag and then he jumps on it and I was like, Rambo. But, uh, yeah. Um, also, um, I'm trying to, this new channel, like, before I posted a War Tanks World video, which is my old channel. I started a new channel for pretty much many reasons. Like I had two bullshit copyright strikes, or bullshit in my opinion. Uh, where Rockstar Games and people like just from me playing games, basically. But uh, choke me. But um, so I kind of decided to uh, start a new channel because I had a bunch of inactive subs and a bunch of basically cough strikes that I didn't need. So I kind of took them off and I decided to make this channel but my channel now is more of a variety than anywhere, uh, anything like before the two game battles now like it's still going to be a lot of depth, like GB such as Wii Sports such as ODCs which are ODCs like tournaments so because that's why like I feel more comfortable and probably the better for me because but, but there will be a lot of a lot of the like, I'm making impossible game content at the moment. I, I've got a playthrough planned at the moment when I complete it. But pretty much it's going to be 50% GB and 50% everything else. Because, you know, I kind of want, instead of just having a little game battles, I would like a bigger community trying to get people into competitive scene. But, um, yeah, it's coming to a close here. It's pretty much here making sure these, these guys don't go on the relay. Basically, a relay is if someone caps a flag, one guy will be waiting on the floor, drop the flag again and pull it. So, um, that's what I kind of started trying to do here. And as you can see, we got the flag for the last couple of minutes. But, uh, yeah, uh, please like my channel and subscribe and rage quit! <laughs>
victory and we win. But um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Subscribe to Face of Games and me. They might as well go host. Link channel in the description. You win, guys. Go host. And remember, YouTube and Face Stay classy.